Hello everyone, and welcome again. In this video, I will explain how to monitor erotic changes made to group policy objects, or in other words how to audit group policy changes, in Active Directory. Group policies are considered a security tool, where administrators can allow, deny, or restrict users' access to certain resources. So any change made to group policy is critical, and any unauthorized change could lead to devastating security breaches. Therefore, it is necessary to audit every change made to your group policy, and I will explain to you, how to do this step by step, and the first step is to enable auditing policy, and that is by creating a GPO, and applying it at the domain level, or at the level of the organizational unit that you want to audit. The first thing you need to do, is open group policy management. Open the run box, and type the command gpmc.msc to quickly access the group policy management window, and click the OK button. As I told you, you can create an audit policy, on group policy objects at the domain level as a whole, or at the level of a specific organizational unit. I will audit at the domain level as a whole, which is definitely better. So right click on the domain, and select create a GPO in this domain, and link it here. In the new GPO window, give the group policy object an appropriate name so that you can access it at any time, then, click on the OK button. After that, right click on GPO that was just created, and select edit. This will open group policy management editor window, so you can make modifications, to the group policy object. After that, from the left pane, navigate and open the path that appears, in front of you on the screen, and I will leave the path, for you in the description of the video. In the other pane, you will see a list of policies under DS Access. Double click on the policy, Audit Directory Service Changes. After that check the box, labeled Configure the following audit events. And also check the boxes, Success, and Failure. Then, click on the Apply button, and OK. Then select the path shown in front of you, on the screen. And I will leave you the path in the video description. It is the same path, but select, Object Access. In the other pane, you will see a list of policies, under Object Access. Double click on the policy, Audit File System. After that check the box, labeled Configure the following audit events. And also check the boxes, Success, and Failure. Then, click on the Apply button, and OK. Close Group Policy Management Editor window, and also Group Policy Management. The next step, is to update the group policy, so open the command prompt window, as administrator. Then type the command that appears in front of you, on the screen. To update the group policy. This is considered the first step, that I called enable auditing policy. I will move to the next step, which is configure audit settings, in which I will specify the types of changes, that are made to the group policy objects, that these will be audited, such as creation, deletion modification, or permission changes. Open search, type a DS edit, right click it, and select run as administrator. The configure audit settings will be divided into two parts. The first part is configure group policy container objects auditing, which is what I will do using the DS edit tool. In the red pane, right click a DS edit, and then select connect to. Here, make sure that the name, is set to the default naming context and that the domain name mentioned, in the path is the domain that you want to audit. Then click OK. Double click on, default naming context, and navigate the path that appears, in front of you on the screen, and I will leave the path for you in the description of the video. Then right click see and equals policies, and select properties. Then click on the security tab, and then, at the bottom click on the advanced button. Then, click on the auditing tab, and then, click on the add button. Then, click on select principal, from the top. And in the name field, type everyone, then, click on the OK button. At the top, make sure that the type is set to, success, and applies to is set to, this object and all descendant objects. In the permission section, scroll down and look for 
create group policy container objects, and delete group policy container objects, and check their boxes, then click the OK button. Then click on the apply button, then OK then OK, and you can close the DSI edit window, and this is the first part of configure audit settings, what the second part is audit the sysvol folder. All group policy files are stored in the sysvol folder of the domain controller, so to audit the changes made to the group policy object, you need to audit this folder, and the sysvol folder can be opened through the path shown in front of you on the screen, and I will leave it to you sysvol folder path in the video description. After opening the folder path, right click on the policies folder, and select properties. After that click on the security tab, then, click on the advanced button. Then, select the auditing tab, and, click the add button. Then, click on select principle, type everyone in the designated field, and click the OK button. Then, select all, from the drop down list, in front of you type, and also select, this folder, subfolders and files, in front of applies to. Click on Show Advanced Permissions, then select Check the box labeled Full Control, then click on the OK button. Then click on the Apply button, then OK, then OK, and thus the second step is completed. The final step remains, which is how to view group policy change events. Open the search and type Event Viewer, but right click on the search result and open it as Administrator. In the event viewer window, in the left pane, navigate to Windows Logs, then click on Security. Here, you will find a list of all the security events that are logged in the system. Then in the red pane, under Security, click Filter Current Log. Through this window you can find out who made the changes made to the group policy objects. For example, to find out who created the group policy object, write the event ID 5137. This IT will show you the latest creation information that was created, after Enable Auditing Policy. Click on OK, then show an event in each event with the time and date. Open the event. Here you can find details such as, the distinguished name of the object that was created, the attribute of the object that was created, the time and date, and also who created the group policy object. You will find many details. I will leave for you in the video description all the event ID numbers such as the event ID for creating, modifying, removing, deleting, or moving. Click on filter current log and type ID 5141. This number is responsible for deleting group policy object. Unfortunately, there is no event, and if the deletion occurs, it will show you information about who deleted it, and the name of the group policy object. In the video description, I will leave you a table of all the event rights that you will use, such as creating, moving, deleting, modifying i hope the video is useful to you thank you for watching and i also hope you subscribe to my channel thank you all